Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on correcting for multiple comparisons. So what do we mean by multiple comparisons? Consider a study where we want to evaluate different test scores between students who were trained for the exams that is denoted by treat and those who were not denoted by controls. We have three such test scores here and we want to perform individual statistical t-tests for each of these scores. Examining multiple such relationships is known as multiple hypothesis testing or multiple comparisons. The worrisome bit here is that multiple such tests conducted on the same group of samples which probably were not specified in your statistical analysis plan without formal sample size or power analysis can produce associations which can occur simply due to chance alone. Why does this occur? Every time you perform a statistical hypothesis test, there is a chance that we reject the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is true. Here we make a statement that there in fact is an association between two variables when in reality none exists. This is known as a false positive also known as a type 1 error which you might know as alpha. Arbitrarily alpha is usually set at 0.05 that is we accept a 5% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when in fact the null is true. When we test a single outcome, the alpha error rate holds true. But what if we decide to test 5, 10, maybe 20, perhaps even 100 hypotheses? The alpha error rate in such cases increases proportionally. Why does this occur? Due to the potential of each statistical test to introduce alpha error individually. Hence, when we perform more and more statistical tests, the more likely it becomes that the result that we get is a false positive. And the alpha error rate increases in proportion to the number of tests we decide to perform which is known as alpha inflation. The family wise error rate is the probability of obtaining at least one false positive in a family of hypothesis tests. To curb this alpha inflation, we should strive to control our alpha and keep it up at 0.05. This can be achieved by a number of methods such as the Bonferroni, Sidak, Ohm, Sheffe, Tukey's which we will discuss in the next video. All of these have their own merits and demerits and different applications. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.